Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, hey, I'm going to show you this crazy estate sale I went to this last weekend. Um, that stuff video got stuff together and this house was just, man, it, it, let's just say this house had seen better days. So I'm, I'll, I'm going to show you uh, videos of the house and how the books were and, uh, you know, it, it, it was it was definitely, they, they advertised as a digger sale. So if anybody in the North Alabama area had went to the sale, you, you know that the advertisement as a digger sell was definitely, they should have put that in bold with underlines. It was a crazy, crazy rundown house with, in the way the stuff was. But hey, before I jump in, I want to say thanks. Thanks for the views, the channel support. Um, you know, if you hadn't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You guys keep watching, commenting, viewing them. I'll keep doing them. We'll, we'll see what happens. So, um, hey, so, so I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to cut away. I will say I'll shout out to viewer Jeff. Hey, there was a, one of the viewers uh, on the Curator of the Lost channel was there, and he recognized me and introduced himself. He'd actually pulled six boxes from this sale, and I didn't show up. It was a two-day estate sale. I just showed up at, like, it was over, like, 1 o'clock on Saturday, and I had some stuff to do, and I didn't even show up till almost noon. And this estate sale company, sometimes at the end of the sales, they'll just say books are free, but what they were doing this time was basically it was, like, a box was, like, $5. So I went through, found some stuff, and... It got, got some cool stuff, So, but but shout out to Jeff. It was nice seeing you there, nice talking to you, and hopefully all the six boxes you got were were great finds. But So here's some of the stuff I found. So, um, well, I, I, first, let me, let me just get, before I jump into what I found, I'm going to cut away, and we'll put some video inserts of the, of the sale and give you an appreciation for this house. Man, this house was, was in bad shape, and it, it smelled kind of funky, and... There, people just couldn't believe. And, and out back, they had a shed, and it was full of just, I mean, just junk. So um, here, here's here's a, here's a cutaway, and, and, and you can get a feel for it. All right, so here's the house from the outside, and it was kind of grown up, and it was you kind of had a side entry. Uh, when you went in, this, it looks like an old enclosed porch. See, they had a lot of bookshelves everywhere, but I think a lot of people had already taken tons of stuff out, but it was ransacked. See, an entire room of stuff. But there was, man, it was, it, words just can't describe it. If, if you're getting a vibe from this this video, that's part of the video, imagine it, it smelled just like it looked. That's That's basically how you have to say it. All right, so like I said, it, it was ransacked and Jeff had said, uh, the other viewer that was there, he, he had said that there were, it had been really crowded. So I don't know how many books had been pulled from this. I did see a form on the, on the floor where this guy evidently had been a seller at some point, but man, the books were in such bad condition. And I know all the ones I got, you had to be careful when you're in a house like this because everything kind of smells and you, it's like buying stuff from a basement or from something that's not humidity controlled. They can get that kind of old book, you know, do smell. When I got the, the mine home, I didn't, they definitely had that old book smell. So I've wiped them all down and I'll let them air out a little bit. And I'll, wipe, I'll probably maybe wipe them down again. Before I sell them, I'm going to make sure that there's no overwhelming odors on them. I think they're going to be fine. Um, but, you know, it, it uh, you, you never can tell when stuff's been stored like in a basement or in a house that's not been, you know, taken care of. You definitely can get, get some stuff that that odor can be bad. So just a word of caution when you're in a place like this, because a lot of times the first thing I do is I smell the book, right? And I try to see if, if it smells bad, you know, if it, if it doesn't look right. And um, your nose can tell you a lot. But in a place like that, where everything kind of has that smell, it's like, whew, you know, you, your, your old nose is overwhelmed. But anyway, so here's some stuff I found. This first thing uh, actually is not a book. It's the one non-book item. It's this green tray. And look, it was uh, it was Bachman, and it was from Finland, and it's a really cool tray, great condition. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to sell it. I did find these things this on, online. I saw found a red one listed for like forty bucks. Some just regular bamboo ones, a set of four, had listed for like or sold for like forty five or fifty bucks. I could probably sell this, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Use this around the house, at least. I think so. We'll see if my wife agrees. But she hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> Um, okay, so so other books. Um, here's one. This was a cool one. Japanese costume. And you know, in all this, I pulled this stuff out. And I couldn't believe, you know, if there's that many people come through that I was still able to pull things out. But this is about a 20, I see this one, 22 to 40 bucks on uh, Amazon. A lot of this that I'm going to sell is going to go on eBay. This particular one will go to Amazon. Um, 
Okay. Uh, in a book, Narcotics Anonymous, it's about 10 bucks. You know, older versions of this are, can go, can be really expensive. Same thing for AA, you know, alcohol, Alcoholics Anonymous books. I always look to see if they're in good shape, you know, got any, you know, looks a lot of people take notes and stuff in them. If they're like that, I don't buy them, but it's a, it's a solid $10 book. Here's what I don't have a price on for, but I love this subject matter. Uh, funny car racing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, I can at least get 10 bucks for that, right? I mean, maybe more, but I, I thought that was cool. I love racing type kind of stuff. Always sells good. All right. Here's one that it's a dictionary of symbols. We can look at this one. See if it's got anything cool in it. I see this one selling for about 15, 15 bucks. This doesn't have a, you know, it's got different symbols. It just talks about them. It's got, I guess, symbols that are on architecture, old ruins. Um, usually this has a dust jacket, but even without the dust jacket, it'll be 12 to 15 bucks. All right. Here's one. I, I'll, I always buy these when I find them. The, the reloading books. This is, uh, the, the Hornady reloading book, third edition. This sells $15 pretty easy. Maybe you might be good to 20. It's a hardback. Any of these, if you find Remington, Winchester, I, I buy them all the time when I find them, the reloading. And, it, and if you're not, if you're not a shooter, you know what it does if you're reloading, you're bar saving your brass and reloading, it gives you all the weights and all the grams and, you know, put the powder in the wadding, whatever. And it can be for, you know, different kinds of cartridges, shotgun shells, different ones. I have great success reselling these. It's people that, it's cheaper. People that, that go, that sport shoot, you know, at ra ranges and things, they, they can save their brass and reload. A lot of times it's cheaper, so. Okay, here's one. I think that I sold about 10, 10 bucks. This is a view from Palm Lake. What's funny is it had a sticker on it. I don't know if that's an old Amazon sticker or um, they said $22. I'm thinking it's only about 10 bucks. It is signed by the author. So anyway, picked it up, put it in a box. Now this was probably the biggest win, this grouse and grouse hunting. Um, this will be an Amazon. Uh, see this selling 35 to 40 bucks all day long on Amazon. Great, great, great fun. And again, I got all this in a box for five bucks. So, you know, I'm 10, 20, I'm probably like a quarter piece on these. Here's one that I'll actually go to Amazon, the Zen of Creativity. I see this selling for about 20 bucks, FBA. All right, here's one, man, I, I didn't look it up. It was this James Thurber, 13 Clocks. Had some, some cool stuff in it, you know. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Um, first editions of this can sell pretty good. So it had a price on it with a book club edition. Felt like it. It's an 11th printing. So this is uh, 8 to 10 bucks. So anyway, there's a Mark Twain from like 19. This will be an easy 10 bucks. It's kind of a cool cover. 1961 edition of his wit and wisecracks. So let's do that in there. Um, Michael Moorcock, Stormbringer. If you're not familiar with Elric, uh, Moorcock wrote these these doll science fiction um, first editions of these um, can bring twenty to thirty bucks each. I've I've had great success selling these over the years. Whenever I see any of the Elric series, I pick them up, and sometimes I sell them individually. Sometimes I sell them as a lot, but definitely if they're first editions. The, has the full number line on the print page. They'll bring more. It's good. All right, a couple of ladybirds. I've sold these in the past. These little ladybird, ladybird children's books. This, uh, this I'll, I'll probably put these together. Yeah, they will get ten bucks for them. You know. Now this one. Here's a, a Osmoff Foundation's Edge. What's cool about this one? It was in a protective cover. It's got the mylar cover on it. Now it did have some foxing on the edge. Yeah. But um, it, it'll, again, a lot of these are, are in the, that 10 to 12, 15 dollar range. Um, pretty decent. Here's one that's uh, 18 dollars. I got Soul Comp on eBay for 18 dollars on that one, the Button Ham book. I always like these. I think that's cool. I like I need something else to get into. So it's got all kinds of buttons. I know buttons can be lucrative. Don't know where you find them anymore, but. You know, all kinds of pictures of buttons, some fancy buttons, but I like it.
Uh, I got this. Actually, I didn't. I've never read this. So it was a. It's, I think it's a. It's Breakfast of Champions. Kurt Vonnegut. No dust jacket. Appears to be a, a book club edition, but um, I don't have a copy. I don't want to read it. So got that for me. All right. Here's another. It's kind of cool. Look at that. Osmoff. It's, it's a book club edition. The Currents of Space. Love sci-fi covers. It's a solid ten bucks. I like the cover. All right. This one. Uh, Julie Child, French cooking. I think this particular one uh, goes originally in a slipcase. There's a, this is volume two. The volume one is red. And I looked, the volume one wasn't there. The volume two by itself will still sell for about 20 bucks. I have people that either are just putting a set together, maybe missing it, they don't care, they just whatever. But it still will sell for about 20, 20 bucks, the volume two by itself. Um, all right, here's an example of what you have to be careful of. I actually bought and sold one of these just recently. This uh, marks on the German, Bohemian, Austrian porcelain. And this one had, you know, some stuff. I just saw it. I was like, okay, I just sold one of these. I bought it, sold it probably in the last month. I'll get it again. I didn't really look at it that closely. Look, well, when I pulled it out, look at this stain mark, okay? It's indicative of getting wet at some point, right? And then look, look right there on the cover. Can you see that, how it's, so this this will be a trasher and it just shows, you know, you're in that environment. Sometimes it's hard to take the time. You know, I was only there for an hour before they shut down. And sometimes you just miss it. Uh, I hate when I do that, but, you know, at least it's not a big dollar one, right? Quarter, probably a quarter. Um, look at this. I love that, that. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Curtain for a jester. I'm not familiar with Mr. and Miss North Mysteries. It might have been something, um, this might have been like in the 50s. Definitely looks 50s. It's a book club edition. I have a, um, this is 1953, right? I bought it really, I love the cover, but I do. I did have a um, sold comp on eBay for one without a dust jacket for 10 bucks. So even though the dust jacket has some sugar bites, as they say, um, I, it's just the subject matter is so cool, right? I love it. Now here's one, this, it's funny, this, this Alms for Oblivion. If you try looking this up, there's all, I guess this title has been used a lot. This particular one, I don't have any sold comps on. On eBay, I see one listed like on a um, historical reprint for like 50 bucks. This this is an early edition, um, and it's kind of funny, this books, men, and biography. So I really don't know what it's about, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of, kind of funny. It's um, got some boxing on it, but yeah, I'll list it for 20 something bucks, see what happens. Here's another one I just bought for the cover. Uh, look at this, The Long Ships. It's, it's like a $10 book, I like it. I think that's the coolest cover, I like that. Got the Vikings on it. And then, um, hey, I think the last one. One technical book in the bunch. This uh, Electricity and Magnetism by Peck. It's uh, 15 to 20 bucks. That's it. So, I don't know, I got, looks like three, six, nine, twelve. 12. Yeah, about 20 books and a tray, $5. It was a good box lot deal. And you can see from the videos, um, it was it it was just crazy. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna put another video here, and this is where I thought I had hit the jackpot. Okay, this will be the for anybody that stayed around this long into the video. This will be the surprise jackpot at the end. All right, let me break away to this, and then we'll then we'll close it out. I saw this, and my heart skipped a beat. I thought I might have found a first edition of Dune. All right, so yeah, that Dune book, man. I was just like, oh, this this is. Could it possibly be a first edition Dune? Like I said, it was a book club, early book club edition. Still would have been worth 50 or 60 bucks, but it was water damaged, so I just didn't buy it. So anyway, it was it was an adventure, kind of one of those, definitely was a digger sale, definitely an adventure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And um, you know, some of the, the, the videos from the, from the place too, you know? And um, not huge scores, but you know, there's probably, you know, 150, $200 worth of stuff and I enjoyed digging through it. So. Um, definitely one of those that, that, uh, felt like you had to wash your hands after, you know, it was, or you needed gloves when you went through it. So anyway, you guys, uh, see cool, buy cool, list it so you can sell it and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.